Libra, welcome to your in-depth reading for yours and theirs. Some ground rules before we get started. Yours and theirs is an energy read between yourself and someone else and does not necessarily have to revolve around a spouse, a significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, lover type situation. It's whomever is in the dynamic as I'm describing it. So do keep in mind it could be about a family member or friend, but it's up to you. So take what resonates, leave it to not, reverse those energies as you see fit. These are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. And that's frustrating, but it's also normal. Yeah? General collective readings. What are you going to do? They can't all fit, nor should they. And if that's the case, check your other placements. You'll find yourself in there somewhere. All right. What's going on, please? For... Yes. What's going on, please, for Libra and their person? Show me Libra and their person. Show me Libra and their person, please. What's going on? Mm, what's going on, please, for Libra? Show me Libra, please. Show me Libra. Okay. We're going to start with your side of the board, but as I said at the intro, reverse those energies as you see fit. What's going on? Oh. Mm -hmm. Five of Cups, the Tower, King of Wands. Okay. You know, it's interesting. You start off with a state of sadness and the Tower comes sweeping in and it's like, okay, I feel better now, <laughs> King of Wands. So, who knows? It was the chance, it was the opportunity or the insight you needed to do away with old pain of the past. It's almost like saying that was folly. You know, unnecessary sadness. I was saying it's unnecessary. Five of Cups is Five of Cups, but to what degree where it comes from, the origin of it, and how long we've been holding on to it, these are all elements that can be subjected to the tower. In other words, what you felt was real at the time, but it also may not be all that. Could have been a blessing in disguise, that kind of thing. King of Wands, the point is after the tower, you feel a lot better. It's like mourning this wasn't necessary or you can let it go now, something like that. We'll see, I'm very curious. I'm very curious, Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords. Well, I have someone here who wants to express their heart space. I don't know if they will though, because it looks like their, their heart or their sense of self and how they love themselves with the Nine of Cups is bound up in confusion. It's, it's almost like saying, I don't know if I can see myself like that, which is ludicrous, because you either love yourself or you don't, right? I'm not saying, you're perfectly pleased with yourself all day, every day. I'm saying more often than not, you understand that you're a loving being and that you are a decently good person. That's it. You can more or less understand and account for who you are or you can't. That's all Nine of Cups really is. So it's almost like I have special feelings, they're saying Nine of Cups, and that is special feelings, a sense of vulnerability and the need to express oneself. In the Nine of Cups, we have to know that we love ourselves in order to do this. But they're also saying, I don't know if I can see myself that way. No, no, no. Can you feel yourself that way? That's the question. Because the Eight of Swords is a lot of, it's like mental constipation. It's like, I did, 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 eh, shut it down. It's, eh. So this is where the mind is taken over. And they're like, I don't know if I can see myself expressing that. So I don't know if that's shyness or timidity or there's something. I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's keep going. So there's, there's something. The eight of Wands. The Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands. So either this person gave themselves a little pep talk, in which case, congratulations, or this is something else altogether because it's got some... Whoo, there's no uncertainty or hesitation around that. So either, like I said, we gave ourselves a, a pep talk and we switched up our modalities and therefore our energies uh, and we're releasing something or this is something else altogether. <laughs> What's going on? The Knight of Pentacles, you're like, I'm just, I'm just plotting a lawn over here. Okay, I'm just, <laughs> it's a step-by-step, day-by-day type situation, Christina. I'm not trying to do nothing or nobody. I'm over here being sad. Not for long. Um, I'm very curious to see the tower because you experienced your own energetic conversion. You went from sad to happy, okay? And you were moving at a particular pace that says I wasn't rushed about anything one way or the other. <laughs> so what's, what's going on? Because we got something's happening. Okay, there we go again. Me and with you in the big bucks. Something's happening, Libra. I guarantee it. <laughs> Why is it your readings, though, that get like this? Why? All right. Let's start right there with that Knight of Pentacles. Slow, steady. Let's see that Knight of Pentacles, please. Show me that Knight of Pentacles. 
Are you the one generating the communication or is it coming towards you? I could not say. Because by all rights, the king of wands, that's his knight, that's his ace. What's up? What we doing? And if that's true, why is the eight of swords attached to this person? They have a natural flow towards you already. They're not certain if they can express themselves to you. What's going on? Let's see that Knight of Pentacles, please. Show me that Knight of Pentacles. Show me that Knight of Pentacles. I mean, that's just downright frisky. All right. The Moon. The Fool. Oh, the Ten of Wands. Oh. Oh, yeah. The moon, the fool, the ten of wands. You're saying, Christina, I've got a secret. Pray tell. What is it? I want to open up. But I'm finding it really difficult. So, what happened? What happened then? What happened, what happened, what happened? You just say, I'm moving along, okay, doing stuff, mm, walk, 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 one foot in front of the other, right? One step at a time, right? Right, cool. But I have a secret. I would love to open up. The fool. You have a fool that would like to emerge from the moon, but you find it very difficult, burdensome. The idea of it weighs you down. You don't know where to begin. What do you want to open up towards, honey? Because I see you go through a conversion process and I want to know where this is coming from because that's the kind of burst of energy I would expect from someone who is bursting with the fool. Okay? So are you on the receiving end of this or are you generating it? Because there's a part of you that's dying to come out. Okay, what's going on? Hmm? Yeah, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm curious. I am curious. Let's see that Five of Cups, please. Show me that Five of Cups. Let's see that Five of Cups, please. Let's see that Five of Cups, please. Why are we sad? Let's see that Five of Cups, please. Show me that Five of Cups. There you are, Justice, the world, the Four of Wands. Okay, you are sad because you don't feel balanced in relationship construct. You're saying something ended, some sort of relationship that you reckon, re relationship, guys, is defined by two people. Whoever build those walls, okay. Uh, you're saying you, personally, Justice, do not feel balanced, justified, or correct in a relationship that ended. When, I don't know, but it does feel far away because the Five of Cups tend to be echoes of the past. So this is something that still bothers you. It still weighs in on your heart as being in a negative balance. Um, yeah, a relationship of some kind ended. And you said you've never felt right about it, literally. You've never felt right about it ever since. Okay. Okay, so thank you. I appreciate that. I don't want to stay there too long. People have a tendency to show me the past, which is why I often eliminate the past settings. It's people show me. Let's see that tower. Let's see that tower. Let's see that tower. But I like your summary. That was a good summary. Let's see that tower, please. Ace of Wands, the lovers, the Five of Wands. Mm -hmm. You're angry. You're angry, but you would still have hope, much to your surprise. What gave you sudden inspiration and or hope? Something here. You told me, kind of a cold opening there, that something's over and it never felt correct. The ending does not feel correct, bare minimum. Okay, it affected you. You see that... Something has struck you as inspirational. 
and you've been kind of fighting that, that feeling, that push, that nudge from the universe, that five of wands is there. Something has occurred to you where you can convert the fight into something positive that would represent hope. So that's an idea then. What is it? It sparks in you really hard, that ace of wands indeed. Is there's, I'm not trying to play pin the tail on the donkey. Don't ever misconstrue me. I just read the cards. And the more I can understand what the hell's going on, I can relay it back to you. And you can adopt it appropriately if it fits you. That's it. Okay? The more people understand what the hell's going on, the more I can. Okay? The more insights you have, I can reflect it back to you. And then you know it's for you or not. So that ace of wands, as I say, the king of wands... He's kind of known for his knight and his ace, you know? So it's like, is that coming from you? Because you look downright giddy with the prospect <laughs> of something that you probably up until this point felt helpless about or hopeless about or was nonsensical. It was unbalanced and it was always going to have to stay that way, but it never sat with you properly, did it? No. And something has occurred to you, perhaps not too long ago, that you could do an energetic conversion on this. Something that has frustrated you, pissed you off, okay? Because that's here. The lovers has a way of doing that. I'm not surprised to see that. No, it doesn't surprise me at all. No, it doesn't surprise me at all, you know? Uh, no. Typically, where you see that kind of intensity, you can see intense reactions surrounding it, be it love, passion, hate, anger. The idea is, do you want it to stay that way? Do you want to change it according to you? Yeah. And something has hit you relatively recently. And it's almost like, oh my God, I didn't think of that. How I could take it from this to this renewed energy. The lovers is in there. Something has occurred to you very recently. It inspired you just a little bit. And you wonder if that wand is kind of worth sparking up, you know? Well, this is where we're going to start making choices, Libra. I'll know. You tell me. What do you want to do? That tower's there for a reason. I don't dispute that. It says you don't have to accept this the way it is. If something has occurred to you that you could uh, approach this differently... Change your energetic approach, your ideas around it, your involvement in it, something. Something that allows you to see this connection as going from negative to possibly positive. Let's see what that King of Wands is knocking around in there. So that might explain their side a little bit more. I was already saying that's, that's a contradiction to have a heart space that knowingly flows towards someone. And they'd be like, I don't know if I can do that. Eh. It didn't make sense. Okay, 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 back up. Christina, you see, I'm doing that thing <laughs> where I put the cart before the horse. I do that. I can't help it. It's part of the gig. All right. I like to start. Uh, I start unraveling mysteries before I get there, guys. I've been doing this a long time. Let's see that King of Wands. We'll see it. We'll see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Because you feel a lot better. Like, I can do something now. I don't just have to live with the poor outcome. There's something in there that says, I, I, can, do, I can change this. And so long as people have that spark of inspiration, oh, this just occurred to me. You see the hope, you see the idea of change attached to it. And when people can actually see change, okay, guess what starts to happen? Things start to change. <laughs> so no change plus no change equals no change. If we are determined to see a connection as being horrible, fragmented, hopeless, you know, or it ended and I just got to deal with it, even though it makes me angry and have unresolved feelings. If they want to see it as a dead end, they will. If someone's prepared to see change, then there's indeed an opportunity for real change to take effect. It just, it comes down to choice. If something's bad and broken, disturbed and abusive, then it needs to be left alone. Done. Full story. That's it. Full stop to the full story. Done. Okay? But if we're talking about a connection... Where it needed time to separate, to settle. 
and we're willing to accommodate change and learn things. That's when you get to start making choices as a human being, if that's something you want to do. The influence for change is here, otherwise I wouldn't see that tower. That's it. Okay, let's see that King of Wands, guys. What's up? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. You're saying, yeah, you got an idea, and that it's going to help you feel better. Mm -hmm. I believe you. You're saying it means a lot to you, but you have to present it in a small way. In other words, not be overwhelming. So I, I see this kind of thing when people are uncertain, and that's normal. That's fine. When I see an ace drop down to a page, here's the meaning of the weight behind it is a lot more sincere, but we got to present it in a realistic way. Okay. For what you're doing, what I'm seeing here is appropriate. This means a lot to me, but I have to present it in earthbound terms. So, and you're saying the idea of that kind of pulls you out of that lethargy that you opened up with, that, that feeling of helplessness and upsetness. That's all here. The bigger part of you says, I actually can see myself doing this and it feels pretty good. So that Ace of Pentacles then represents the object of change that occurred to you. Okay. This is what it looks like at the spiritual emotional level. And here it is showing up in the 3D. We reduced the scale a little bit so it can make sense in earthbound terms. <laughs> but it pulls us out of that sense of sadness, makes us feel alive. And like we're in control and in command once more. Okay. Sorry. I just got a weird notification as soon as I said that. <laughs> Sorry. I see things that you can't, obviously. So anyway. Well. I have to admit, it looks like a solid idea. What are you going to do with it? I guess what I'm saying here, ladies and gentlemen, is that we could potentially turn that frown upside down with a lever. Strong connection, however you want to call it. I'm not saying you have to. Terror does not dictate action. You do. Terror is the proof of choice, not the absence of it. So if whatever this is qualifies as something being horrible, negative, abusive, like I said, you don't need to be watching this. Because if that's your first thought, then this is not your reading. This is a Libra who saw an opportunity for change to turn something negative into something positive. Perhaps we didn't try before or didn't we think we could or we, we weren't ready to step into that enlightenment, okay? Change equals change. You're seeing something here that you did not see before. And I know that you were this close and probably telling yourself for a long time to just accept this ending the way it is. Disappointment or not, upset or not, regrets or not, feeling lopsided or uneven about it or not, just accept it at its face value. And I can see that you did that for a while. It never fit you quite right, okay? But I can see you sat in that energy for a while, and then one day the tower happened. You're viewing it as an opportunity to insert some influence that could possibly alter the outcome a little bit even if it's just to help you feel better. Okay? So I see you using your powers for good here. You see an opportunity for change. You get it. They don't, because they're going to be on the receiving end. Okay? That's what it looks like today. That does not mean I'm casting judgment or giving anyone assignments. I'm reading the cards today, guys. There you go. Okay? All right. Let's see. Now, this is interesting, because I already say... I see their heart space flowing toward you. And then they're like, I don't know that. Well, they're second guessing their own sense of wish fulfillment. It's almost like if they point their heart at you, they can't help but wonder if something's wrong with them. Like if you have to second guess your choices in love like that, that kind of thing. Um, so it's kind of like Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment based on the premise that I love myself, right? So it's like if I desire Libra, <laughs> Does that mean I love myself? If I want to express my love to Libra, does that mean I love myself? So I was wondering where that question was coming from. But if you two have history, that might make a little more sense, yeah? Okay. Let's see that Knight of Cups, please. Let's see if they're worth all the fuss. You know, they could be an asshole. For, are we pet? Yeah, we're pesting. <laughs> they can be an asshole. And if they are, we'll see if they're worth 
you implementing that idea for change. Okay? If they have an absence of growth, I want you to know. Okay? That's, that's typically how the lover's gig works. They have to be growth on both sides in order to succeed. Um, there you go. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I really want to open up real bad, Christina, but it's hard for me to admit that to myself. Something's going to occur to you soon about how you can change that. You know, that's not a dirty secret, guys. That's You're just being honest with yourself or you're trying to be honest with yourself about what you really want. That's all that is. What it is, I should say, you actually want to do. The truth is under the moon, you know? Knight to Cups. Let's see the Knight to Cups. Two of Pentacles, uncertain. King of Pentacles, the Knights of Swords. They, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> mm. Practically speaking, they said it's been very hard to execute their feelings towards you, and they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They have an instinct to go toward you to express themselves. And then I see them not doing that. They choose to focus on instead and what they can't control in their immediate outside world, and that's okay, but they, they really feel like their emotions towards you would not be welcome, so they divert the energy into practical stuff that can take up their time, energy, and effort. Um, they seem to be fairly busy, but whatever it is they naturally feel towards you, they reroute it into other things. Okay. Let's see that Nine of Cups, please. Some of that Nine of Cups. Okay. What's going on? Oh, there's a little backstory here. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, so Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you know. There it is. There it is. There's the offer to try to work things out. They don't know if they should take it or not. You know? They don't know if they should take it or not. Part of them feels very much inclined to. Because, like I said, they already have a natural flow towards you. They just tend to reroute it. Okay. There's a busyness around this person, a preoccupation. And here's the direct communication. Ace of Wands. We had the influx of energy here. Here's the offer. Somebody's actually being quite methodical in their um, communication, saying, I know this is going to take time. I'm okay with that. Would you like to rebuild? A little bit, maybe, you know, three pinnacles will just start out super simple. Okay. And it is super simple. That three of pinnacles, though, can get really weird if you have a background with somebody, right? But um, it's a very simple offer, and it's actually at the heart of the reading. They are inclined to show positivity towards it. They're just hesitant. They're hesitant. Let's see that Eight of Swords. Let's see that Eight of Swords, please. Oh, you did a number on this one, eh? It, but there's there's the truth, though. There's the admission. I know this will take time, but you know, try to communicate as friends. Whatever whatever it takes. Okay. Let's see the Eight of Swords, please. Show me the Eight of Swords. Six 
six of wands, the emperor, the ace of pentacles, because they want to take it real bad. They want They know what the offer means. Even though you reduced it to look like something practical on the surface, they know the enormity of it. Okay, so trust me, they are aware of the situation. And um, it actually makes them feel really good. They're uncertain about whether or not they should take it at the emotional level. But... Um, in terms of sense of self, you actually make them feel really good. They know what it means. They know what you put into it. It makes them feel... Your opinion... Okay? Your opinion means a lot to them. The only time I see them get caught up is how to emotionally express themselves to you because on the baseline it's there. But in terms of practical communication, they're struggling to be vulnerable with you. I think you know this. Your opinion means a lot to this person. And the fact that uh, you put something forward like that, trust me, they're interpreting the gesture correctly. Do you see how you dialed it down to make it look like... Uh, it's this no big deal, even though the weight behind it's quite hefty. Trust me, they're interpreting the gesture correctly. They know what you put into it, or they understand what it means to you. So let me tell you something, that they hold your opinion in high regard. But they're still, they seem to be kind of afraid to show you their emotional self. Guys, I can tell that you two have a history, so don't expect fireworks and bells and whistles at that first layer of communication, because the Libra I'm looking at, and this person understands, it will take a layering effect of consistent communication to rebuild this, even if it's just friendship. Okay? There might be emotion or more in an emotional display at this time, but this kind of mutual respect that you two have, that's probably going to be the starting point. Okay. Okay. Let's keep on keeping on. Here things get a lot more playful. Let's say what you said that just kind of went, whoa. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to respond to this. <laughs> I, I feel like you, you definitely cracked a tough one here. Um, they're typically someone who knows what the heck they're doing. <laughs> they do kind of have a commanding presence. I think they're used to a certain level of command and authority in their own light. So when trust me, when they see the gesture from you, they give it the full weight and respect that it deserves because they know who it's coming from. So that tells me that gesture on your part wasn't easy for you. They see this, they acknowledge this. Uh, but that doesn't mean they're automatically putting their heart out there, too. It's there, but it's underneath the practical surface of communication and reacquaintanceship and things like that. Okay? I don't know that you're necessarily aiming for their art. Um, art? Why did I say that? Necessarily naming for their art? Aiming for their art. Why? What is that? My sentence was supposed to be, I don't know that you were necessarily aiming for their heart. You recognize it as a lover's connection that you can potentially change the outcome with, at least from negative to positive, bare minimum. Okay. What's that about art? Faith. Someone sketches? Has someone sketched your face? Have they sketched your face? Or you sketch their face? Mm 
It's funny, I'm not getting that artistic flow. Don't get me wrong. This person has a romantic heart space, which can be associated with that sense of poetry and art that's not necessarily a given. Because when I cover them up, it's with a practical presentation to you. Um, but we knew this. It was going to take time to rebuild this. Um, you're sketching the face. I want to see the sketches of the face. I don't know why I said it. I want to... There's something in amuse here, amuse, M-U-S-E, amuse concept underflowing in this. I can't quite see it. It's there. There is a source of inspiration in here. But I see it being generated from you. Do they pick it up? Does this person pick it up? <clears throat> it's funny, their outward appearance says I'm in command, I'm in control, I got things to do, I believe all that. But they got a big old softy spot when it comes to you, you know this. I mean, duh. Duh. This affected you too. Hmm. All right, let's check out this communication. I got to see what it is that you threw this person completely off their game. I mean, it's not so loud and obtrusive that it shocks the hell out of them. But there th that, that, that thing they have where I don't know if I can say that to Libra, you know. The emotional expression, the vulnerability, it's going to take some work. It's going to take some trust work there. But, um, okay, anyway, let's get, again, I'm not casting judgment. I'm reading your two sides as best I can, and it's rough. There's not going to be the nuances of all the... the particular profiles if it fits you that's your particular story you can fill in the details better than i could guys you have to keep that in mind some people really want to hold me hostage for not giving a comprehensive story guys that's just not how collective readings work okay you didn't say this you didn't say that baby it wasn't in the cards i read what's here not what isn't the particular spaces and gaps are up to you okay eight of wands please what's the eight of wands what was in that communication eh And I see the Ace of Wands, too. I can't wait. Well, we got to get in there. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get in there. I got to see this. This is great. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, there it is. The Four of Wands, eh? Yeah. Relationship. The Hermit. The Six of Swords. Whatever drift or rift is here, we want to heal it. That's the communication. The four of wands, the recognition of that relationship that you say was lopsided or it was never concluded properly. You're not Libra, son, are you? It's like you're realizing your Libra energy much, much later, and that's not an accusation. I'm just saying it kind of points out to me that perhaps your Libra north node or um, something like that. Does that make sense? We didn't really feel how unfair this was until much later. Okay, or how you feel, how it was left, I think is my point. How it was left, how emotionally lopsided it was until later, how much it affected you until later. And I don't know what constitutes much later, guys. It could be a whole year for all I know. I don't know. Anyway, there it is again, Four of Wands, the Hermit, the Six of Swords. We want to heal this concept of drifting, separation, you know. I don't know. I'm, that could be actually a point of discussion. I never meant for it to drift this far apart. I wanted to heal this much sooner, but I didn't know how to open up. I found it hard, difficult. Those are honest. Those are honest concepts. They are. It's under the moon and it wants to come out. You might as well say it. Somebody needs to say it. Makes sense to me. I never meant for us to drift this far apart. I wanted to heal this much sooner, but I didn't know how to open up. I didn't even understand that I wanted to until recently. You know, something like that. The words are here, guys. They're here. They're in a flow. And they make sense between you and this person. That's all I know. Okay. But it's honest. It's very honest. It's actually quite beautiful in its own way. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ace of Wands. Let's see the Ace of Wands. I wonder if I'll get an idea of that conversion right here. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. Ace of Swords. Three Cups. God, somebody's being so honest. That's beautiful. Honesty is best, guys. It tends to get to the point, and uh, you can't fuck it up, right? <laughs> Honesty with the authentic self. We can't fuck it up. I want to see you. I'm, I'm kind of want to cry a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Thank you. I'm still Scorpio. Shut up. I don't want to. Do <laughs> it is weird to be that water sign. Because it's like, yeah, water sign with razors, right? And it's like, well, you don't understand. And it's true. Even I don't understand it sometimes. The contradiction of emotions. I feel deeply. You made me feel my feelings. Fuck off. It's because we take it to such a deep place, it gets uncomfortable. Okay. And I'm just reading cards here. And I have to admit, that's quite touching. It's quite touching. I want to see you. And um, that was that was Arius of Wands. Was that your truth then at the tower? I want to see them. That's it. That's all I know. Maybe that's all you needed to know. Ace of Swords, Three of Cups, Six of Cups, Simplicity. Beautiful simplicity. And that's what's recharging this whole thing. I want to see you. I never meant for it to drift this far apart. I didn't know I wanted to open up until recently or whatever the case is, you know? I do see this coming from you. Okay. Again, once more, do not misconstrue that as being held uh, responsible for actions or inactions. You get to choose. There doesn't dictate anything you do. There is the proof of choice, not the absence of it. I'm saying but one variation of choice today. For those of you, you're going to be like, well, my lover can rot in hell. Fine. Okay. That's not this Libra. This Libra... I was wondering why your tower was so simple in nature, converting the energy from negative to positive. And I was like, what is that positive element then with the lover? What was the difference between, say, whenever it ended, and it never quite felt right how it ended... Versus today, and you had one simple thought. Pray tell. <laughs> I just want to see them. That's how I was fighting the tower. Five of Wands, the tower. It's a simple fight. I mean, you can congratulate yourself on winning it, or you can congratulate yourself on letting it go. And people stop fighting the truth. I just want to see them. And maybe that was enough for you to allow yourself to come out of the moon and stop saying the situation is difficult. I have not a fucking clue. Um, but I like the simplicity of it. I do. And it is simple truth. Okay. Yeah, I can see why they're a little skittish. That's true, but I promise you when I tell you this is someone who's taking the full respect of what you're offering. They get it. They're not stupid. They're not. They know what it meant to you. The emotional apprehension you seem to expect to some degree. But uh, you say something like this, and you mean it. You're going to get someone's attention. Emotionally or otherwise. Yes, uh, in truth, I do see you two connecting again. Okay. I want to see you. I want to see you. That's it. All right, let's take a look at that Knight of Wands, please. Mm -hmm. Let's see that Knight of Wands, please. Show me that Knight of Wands.
I keep staring at your lover's face. Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, the Five of Swords. Mm. That's interesting. The only thing is, okay, there is one lie we can avoid now. Again, not an accusation. It stands true for one person. One person who is showing me the most energy. This is predictive, so this can be helpful. It's one of the reasons I read tarot, guys, is that when we do get predictive stuff, it can help inform you about things that you were tempted to do. And here I'm seeing a temptation to lie about how much time you can give this. Uh, you, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess because it's a very simple idea once more. I appreciate your energy today. Knight of Wands clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, the Five of Swords. Some of you have a tendency to get really excited in the moment and say, this is what I can do. But then you're not able to follow through with it. Okay, so just be aware of that how you might be energetically excited in the moment. And it is natural. And you were very honest up until this point. And you still can be. That's why we're here. Uh, just be honest about how much time you can actually put into this. There's something about this energy that's rising towards this occasion that it is kind of like, I want to impress you. Uh, look at how much time I can give you. I'll tell you that I can commit to that right now. Actually, no, you can't. <laughs> So just be honest with that. Ten of Pentacles, again, I'm defaulting to you because I see the, your energy rising to meet this uh, person. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, the Five of Swords. Some of you do not have time on your side. Um, you look like you have what looks like a, a high-maintenance gig with the Ten of Pentacles here. The Ten of Pentacles, even if we're used to it, right? Let's say we're used to our Ten of Pentacles. We know it's inside and out. So this is the tree of life. It's the roots that touch many, many things. It goes beyond our personal finances and home. It goes to our commitments and career, to family, to space, and the time that we occupy in 3D. So everything. Okay? It represents a lot of contracts that need fulfillment. And it's easy to create a Ten of Pentacles in comparison to maintaining it. So for those of you who are running an empire, the magician, don't make promises here you can't keep. If you do not have all that time to spare, don't try to show off and be like, oh, we'll connect next week and next week and blah, 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 blah. Don't do that. Because there's the temptation here to have a little white lie. Because it feels good in the moment, right? Because we finally got to reconnect with that person. And it was very, very honest. Do not let that distract. This was beautiful. This was very honest. I just want to see you. That's it. That's all I know. I let things drift. Okay. I, I want to fix that. I want to fix that drift, whatever this is between you and I. I want to fix it. Cool. Respect. Total respect. Mad respect. Beautiful. Authentic. There's only one part where you break off into a shard that represents conflict that tells me you're used to it, but you don't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> that tells and it, I get it it's circumstantial in the moment because you're, you're you're connecting with your person you figured out whatever it is you figured out okay and it was just a simple truth got it beautiful but I can tell that you're that person that you get really excited in the moment and then you're like oh and then we'll do this and we'll do this and we'll do this curb your enthusiasm on that one okay pulled it back all right especially if you two have a previous record of building inconsistencies, okay? We already kind of have this plan here of a methodical communication, connectivity, try to keep it consistent and non-demanding, okay? But consistent. So as soon as we interject, I can give more. It, I can give more. No, that's your energy rising. It's excited. <laughs> it's excited. I don't blame you. It worked, and you want to increase your uh, investment in this, and it feels good, and you think you can in the moment, but can you sustain it? Okay. The answer seems to be a little bit no. So let's 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 hang out here, right, in this 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 nice little zone of uh, this feels good for both of us, and we can both maintain this level of effort. Okay. We're, remember, remember, guys. This this is this is the focus. This is the focus. Okay, let's try not to make promises we can't keep because I know it feels good 
and we want to give more to it. We got to pace it though. Let's pace it because some of you just can't. You're not in that position. Bless you, but you're not in that position. Okay, <laughs> not yet anyway. Who knows what will be in the future that you'll have, you'll be able to both consciously give more to this, and you won't have to fib about time and constraints and. I meant that at the time, but uh, I've got about 20,000 things going on this week. Okay, we want to prevent that, especially, like I said, if you two have known building issues from the past. Okay? Um, this person's emotional self connects more to you when you do. I don't know if you noticed it. It was right about here. I want to see you. And then I see the emotional connectivity that they had been withholding up until that point because they weren't sure. Okay? So like I said... It's not that it's lost. They just don't know that they can bring it forward. They need that space with you, okay? They need that space with you. So as soon as somebody talks emotions, the energy starts to free up, okay? All right. That was interesting. Right there toward the end. I know what that is. I really, I do. I've seen this happen a thousand times and with people who I'm like, mm-hmm. I've already made a mental checklist to not take whatever they just proposed seriously because I'm like, I know that person. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not meant in a mean way. I just know what it is. You get excited in the moment. You're like, yeah, let's do this. Let's do that. And then that time comes around. You're like, yeah, about that. And then you feel like an asshole, especially. And you don't want to feel like an asshole. So just avoid it. Don't do it. Um, by all means, reconnect to this when it's correct for both sides. Okay. But uh, don't offer more than you can give. Neither should they. Okay. It's not a big deal. I tell people all the time, five of swords is normal. You just got, uh, I just got a perfect capture of what that normal five of swords looks like when it's not being overly exaggerated. <laughs> I have five of swords and seven of swords is fine. It's just how far, and some of you, I can tell it's habitual. You get caught up in the moment and you're like, yeah, sign me up, sign me up, sign me up, event, event, event. Uh, oh God, I wish I could take that all back. Uh, last winter might've been important or this upcoming winter. Okay. Rejection, loss, fragmented. Oh, okay. 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 Some of you associate that sense of fragmentation, feeling uneven. More so perhaps since last winter. A couple of winters ago. I don't know. I don't know. Avoidance. And that's stalemate. Yeah. I know. Not knowing. But you will know. And that's the whole point. Okay. Toxicity. We feel like we can't do any. There's that sense of helplessness. I don't know if I can do this. I want to. I'm going to suppress the instinct. I know things don't feel right or they didn't weigh up well. All that stuff is there, guys. Regrets. I got it. I got it. And there it is. There it is. Okay. Enough. I get the saturation, honey. What you experienced is real. It's valid. I see it. I acknowledge it. So does spirit. All this was part of the process. As uncomfortable and awful as it felt, it was part of the process to get you to this point right here. There's that tower again. Oh, gosh. I haven't done time checks for anybody. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I just know it's a little bit past where you are now. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to do time check. I'm just saying the Eight of Wands is here a couple times with... <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's this upcoming winter. I think that's when you experience the height of the negative influence and that sense of saturation. Okay. Uh, when we actually make room for change, your higher self is being activated now as we speak, and it will represent the end of a cycle and an apology is coming forward, um, either from you, them, or the both of you share one. Okay. Those are the best, excuse me, the best kind of apologies when two people understand their side of the situation. That's when it's fair. So it's not just all on you. I'm sure that they've got things to apologize for as well. Okay. Lover's connection, a healthy one. If it reconstructs for any reasons, both sides see where they fucked up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I guess it's going to happen when it happens. Ah. Libra, I do hope this helped you. Put it in the comments. Take care. Be well.